What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Trailmakers, and today I want to answer the really simple age-old question of what happens to a supersonic plane when it hits the water. So, I want to build a submarine plane in Trailmakers. I built one of them in Stormworks a long time ago, which is really kind of easy because a submarine and a plane, believe it or not, have kind of similar controls. You know, roll, yaw, pitch, go up and down, all that stuff. Flying in water is the same as flying in air nothing is at all different so i want to build a submarine plane i've never actually built a supersonic plane in trail makers so we're gonna to have to do that but really simply we can get started and the only difference between a submarine plane and a real plane it's it's kind of crazy it's just this we just need the diving bell or actually we could use the spaceship cockpit as well because it also can go underwater what's the aerodynamics well that's actually all green that might not be the bad idea we could put that right on the front so we're really just going to build something that just has as many engines as freaking possible lots of these dragon engines now these won't work underwater which is fine because we'll have a couple underwater engines to you know deal with that but pretty much we're just going to do something like this we're going to put some extra blocks here i guess i should be using mirror mode for this that would make more sense but whatever and then we're going to put some mechanical rotating servos and these will be for our entire wings to roll our plane we're just going to roll the entire wing all right so now all that's left to do is put engines but actually i just realized we should actually be taking these engines out and i think we can rotate them this way drop them down and then we can duplicate it and rotate this and literally use the engines as the support structure and all we really need is just one block here to attach the whole thing to the spaceship i'm pretty sure i think this will work and then all we gotta do is put some super aerodynamic pieces and uh extend this plane back a little bit i don't honestly know what it takes to make a supersonic plane in trail makers but now we should be able to just copy this there we go okay we gotta actually do this sort of individually and we're basically just gonna do the whole fuselage made of rockets Excellent. I'm not going to worry about having yaw on this because I like I don't think a supersonic speeds yaw is going to make a difference. We're also going to have to replace some of these at some point with uh, with some underwater engines to actually be able to move underwater. All right. So realistically, we should probably test this. Um, let's just save it real quick. And obviously, we don't have any sort of tails. Uh, so I guess we could we could probably put those on let's uh hold on a minute all right good enough let's see what happens uh okay that that roll looks good okay we need to flip the pitch there a little bit all right let's see what happens we can move it does just slide across the ground you know that works as well you know it's not actually not a bad plane though it's really just a rocket with wings let's be real all right we're on a slight down angle 600 700 Oh god, that's too much. Let's, uh, there we go. Level out. 600 again. Oh god, this needs to be adjusted. 700. 750. Okay, so we're really not, we're not at the speed of sound yet. 680. We really only get to 700 something. And then the drag becomes too much, so we need more engine power. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this entire thing apart and redo it to have a center core of blocks with engines all around it, like four engines around it, and then we'll make mount points for the wings. So instead of doing this setup, which kind of works, but it's only two engines wide, I think what we're gonna do is just something like this. We'll rotate this, put it here like that, and we'll extend this all the way back, right? and delete these side pieces and then we'll put engines top bottom and you know both sides and maybe that'll work just a little bit better i'm not exactly sure and let's just adjust real quickly the back uh speed let's make this 0.25 and let's make this an angle of like five degrees because it is incredibly twitchy it doesn't need to be that twitchy same thing with these two 0.25 whoops no not 25 oh goodness 0.25 there we go at an angle of five degrees once you get going faster it's just not necessary to have those crazy uh crazy angles you really don't need it now let's see if we can get off the ground we can definitely we can definitely move oh god we have like no oh there we go as long as we just slide off the edge here okay perfect 
900, still not fast enough to break the speed of sound. Are you kidding me? We're so close. 980? We're, like, dipping down, too, though. I mean, I guess I could probably break the speed of sound in a straight line vertical. Let's go, like, straight up and then flip around. I bet you this will break the speed of sound going down. Of course, we still have to put submarine engines on this, too. When we hit the water, we have to be able to, you know, still drive underwater. All right, I think we're good enough. Let's loop. Aim straight down. I think this is straight down. Nine. Do we break the speed of sound? 1,040. Still didn't break the speed of sound. Are you serious? All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Just extend it out further. All we got to do is take this whole chunk. Just slide that back. Grab this chunk. Copy that. Copy it again. Bring this forward. And then fill all the engine gaps. This gotta be enough, right? Oh, this can almost do it without even having to... Okay, let's go vertical. This can almost do it without even having to go vertical, which is crazy. I mean, it's basically just a rocket with wings at, at this point. It's really not even... It's not much of a plane. Alright, time to go down. Let's see if we can break the speed of sound. There's no way, right? It's like... Uh, I gotta check the map. It's like 1100 or something, I thought. Kilometers an hour. It's 334 meters per second at sea level. Come on, speed of sound. Speed of sound. No sound barrier. Oh, man. Still. All right, I'm going to look it up. What is it exactly? And then we got to figure this out. We got to just add more rockets, I guess. All right, apparently my math was slightly off. It's 1,234 kilometers an hour is the speed of sound. I wonder if these front sloped pieces are causing the problem. Like, if I slope this... Would that make sense? If it's like, see that little yellow, that little yellow bit of aerodynamics where the engine sticks out? I feel like that actually is causing the problem. I don't know if this is actually going to make the difference or not, but you know, it's worth a try anyway. And then we should obviously extend the back out a little bit more. But there we go. Perfect. The only other thing is the front of this might be, might be causing the problem, but let's see what happens here. All right, we're up. We are flying. Well, we're going a thousand without even uh, going vertical. Almost level. It might have been the aerodynamics. Eleven hundred without going vertical. Let's go up and then go straight down. We actually reduced the number of engines too. We added one inside the front section, but we got rid of the two at the back. So technically, we are down an engine. But this might actually be able to do it once we go vertical. Twelve hundred is the number, apparently. 1234, according to the internet. Hopefully Trailmakers follows the internet. All right, here we go. Let's flip around. Straight vertical. I honestly don't know what's going to happen when we hit the water. I haven't tried that yet. 1234. 12. Two. Oh, there it is. Let's go. And now we can't hear anything. We are going faster than the sound of our engines. I'm not going to hit the water yet. Oh. Okay, so it can do it. Sick. That's amazing. It's actually the coolest thing ever. It can break this up. This is the first time I've ever broken the sound barrier. All right, here we go. Let's actually go up this time. Same thing. We're going to come down to like a 45 degree angle. Maybe not straight vertical. And we're just going to go straight into the water. And see what happens. I don't even know where land is anymore. We've just gone so far away. Alright, here we go. This is it. Let's go down at a little bit of an angle. Perfect. It's good enough. Not exactly 45 degrees, but let's see if we can get 1234. 12. 10. A little bit more of an angle. 30. Broke the sound barrier. There's the map. Okay, we need, um, I think we need deeper water. All right, here we are on the high seas, of course. Got our plane. This is much deeper water, uh, so hopefully we can just take off here. Just get up into the, there we go. Just skim the water a little bit. Perfect. There is wind on the high seas, of course, so that might cause an issue. But we should still be able to break the speed of sound going vertical. And just, uh, hit the water 
and hopefully not actually, you know, bottom out or whatever. I, I mean, I just realized we didn't really put any sort of flotation on this, so this thing is really going to sink like a rock. But it's also not really meant to float like a boat either. It's supposed to be just, you know, propelling itself through the water like a rocket and using its speed. So if it slows down, you know, it won't work. But here we go. Let's go straight down. I, I think this is vertical. Come on, 1234. There we go. That's so cool. And now it's quiet. Oh my god, we're gonna hit the only island, really? Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try that again. 1234, break the speed of sound. It's very important. Just did it? Oh my god. And nothing happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The, uh, two underwater engines are not enough to maintain speed. And... We are now on the bottom of the ocean. These, these... These two little engines just can't move the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh man, whoops. <laughs> so basically we could go in the water, um, and as soon as we pull up, we're actually sunk on the bottom of the ocean. This is, this is real bad. This is real, oh my god. How far down are we? Well, that is, that is unfortunate. It needs more powerful underwater engines. Alright, I think I've gotten something that works here. I've added some flotation blocks to the front, which actually don't affect the drag. The spaceship cockpit still covers it, which is good. And, uh, we got two motors at the back, plus the bulldog in the middle. And I think this seems to be enough to just, you know, push our way through the water. See, it's not super quick, but we can turn, and we can aim up, and as long as we aim up at a slight enough angle, I think we can make it... Yeah, we can make it to the surface, maybe? Oh god, can we not? Did I not have enough speed? It was so close. I did it once, and it was amazing. And then I was like, oh yeah, here we go. Look, look, we'll breach the surface, and then as soon as we can- Come on, you stupid submarine. Get a little bit more speed. Breach the surface. Come on, just get- There we go, some engines out, and then we just get a little bit of speed, do some jumps, and yeah, now we're- Now we're laughing. There we go, perfect. So it kind of works as a submarine. I think it needs more flotation, but you know, I think it'll work. It'll be enough that we can go in the water, we can maneuver, and hopefully not sink to the bottom of the ocean, uh, every time. Now, of course, the question is, can we break the sound barrier still? I think we should be able to. The aerodynamics haven't changed. The only real weight we've changed is the floating blocks, and the, uh... The engines at the back, but here we go. Let's go straight vertical. 53 kilometer hour wind doesn't even matter. 1100, 1200, and there we go. Yeah, we are we are very fast. Oh my god. Okay, where's the water? Oh, there it is. There it is. Boom. Oh my god, we're already at the bottom of the ocean. That is so dark. What is that? Is there even water below us? Like, or uh, ground below us? Oh god, we're, we're kind of... Oh yeah, no, there is. Wow. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh Oh, we're done. We're so done. See, this is the only thing. It doesn't have enough power to do anything if it stops. If, if we're stopped, we don't have... We don't have the ocean power. This is rather unfortunate. You know, surprisingly, it does a lot better than I thought it would. The water doesn't seem to affect it at all. Um, there's no- I thought there was gonna be, like, a collision with the water or something. Like, you know, you'd hit it at a bajillion miles an hour. It, it apparently, it does nothing in Trailmakers, but that's okay. It's still kind of cool that the submarine plane actually kind of works. And I should probably build a submarine plane that's, like, a better submarine and not necessarily just a supersonic plane. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I actually had a lot of fun. This is the first time I've broken the speed of sound in Trailmakers. It's so cool that you can do that. I kind of want to try to do it with other stuff as well. 1234. That's amazing. Love how it actually mutes all the audio too. And then... Boom. Underwater. Look at that. We are flying. Oh my god. What the heck is that? It's a giant worm. Oh no. It's like a centipede thing. Hello. Don't mind me. Passing through. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Really, really cool build. Um, definitely gonna make a, a better submarine plane. Maybe with some lights and actually use it to explore stuff. 
and, you know, make it a better submarine and not have this issue. Oh, come on. Come on. We're broken, apparently. Oh, we lost an engine in the front. That's not good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you have any other ideas for Trailmakers builds, of course, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time. Yeah, nah, no, we're stuck. Well, I shouldn't have repaired. <laughs>